What if I told you that there was hidden text right inside of this goat picture right here? First, I'm gonna show you how you can find the hidden text, and then I'm gonna show you how you can add hidden text to a picture of your own. The reason why we're covering steganography today is for a couple of reasons. One, because it's part of PMPT Live, and if you're not part of that, there's a link in the description for that below. But it's also because it's part of TCM Academy. So if you wanna learn more about tactics like this, I highly recommend going to TCM Academy to learn more about that, especially the OSINT course. And if it's not clear, I work for TCM security and I get to post like pretty much everything that goes out on social media. So in my position, if I were to ever hide something inside of an image that were to give something away for free, you may or may not find that somewhere on a Discord channel somewhere in relation to PMPT, but that's a completely different story. Let's talk about how we do this because it's actually really exciting. The cool thing about this is you don't even have to have Linux to do this. You can do it all in Windows Command Prompt. So first, let's show you how to find the hidden text of this image. All right, so on my desktop, I have a folder called OSINT and inside of that folder, I have our goat picture. Now, the first thing that we need to do is right click on that and we're gonna go down to open with. Once we get to open with, we're gonna be looking for notepad. If you don't see notepad for whatever reason, if you just go down to choose another app, you should find notepad in there. So we'll just get it, go ahead and click OK on that. Now, anytime you open up a image file in notepad, you're gonna see all of this crazy jarbled text, which makes sense because this is an image file and you should be opening this in an image viewer, right? So we're not gonna be able to read any of this. This, again, doesn't make any sense to us, but if we scroll all the way down, which I've been trying to do this whole time while I talk, we should find the hidden text, which says, this is so cool, which I mean, I think it kind of actually is pretty cool. So let's talk about how we can actually do this. Let's jump over to that right meow. All right, so now we found that hidden text. How can we add that hidden text of our own? That all starts with my favorite thing, running command. All right, so in order to run command, we just need to hold down our Windows key on our keyboard and press the R key, and that's gonna open up our run prompt here. I already have CMD written in there, but if you don't have CMD written in there, you're gonna wanna run CMD and then hit enter. As you can see, that should open up the command prompt for you, and now we can start having fun. The first thing that we need to do is when we found that photo that we wanna add that hidden text to is, we need to make sure that we save it to a location that we know where we can find it. As I said earlier in this video, the picture of the goat is in a folder called OSINT on my desktop. So in our command prompt, I know that I can change directory right to that folder on my desktop. So you can follow along here, but you may have to change some of these parameters. So we're gonna do CD for change directory, and we're gonna type in C colon slash, and I'm gonna start typing in users, but I'm gonna hit tab because it's gonna auto complete for me. And then I'm gonna do another slash, and I'm gonna start typing in my name, and I can do another tab, or I can type my name pretty fast nowadays. You probably can too. Then I'll do another slash and we're gonna do desktop and I can start typing that again or I can just tab again. And of course we're going to that OSINT folder on our desktop so I can start typing that in and then I can click enter once we have our entire path there written out for us. Now, if you are wondering how I know this path and an easy way to look to see any file path to a folder that you may have open on your desktop, all you have to do is click inside of your folder and then in the address bar of that Explorer window, you just simply click inside of there and it should show you the full path to that folder. So you can actually just copy and paste that into your command prompt or you can type it out, whatever's easier for you. So once we have that all typed out or you have that location pasted in there, all you're gonna do is click enter on your keyboard and now your command prompt is gonna change your directory to that OSINT folder. So now the fun can begin. So I actually skipped a step and I'm gonna leave this in here because we all make mistakes. We need to create a text file with the text that we wanna to add to this image. So let's go back to our folder and inside of this folder, we're gonna right click and we're gonna to go to new and then we're just gonna to go to text document. Now you can call this text document whatever you want, make it something that's easy for you to remember. So I'm just gonna call this text document goat. I'm just gonna click enter. That's our text document name. And let's go ahead and open up that text document. So now let's go ahead and put our hidden text in there. You can add whatever text that you wanna add in there, so just keep that in mind. For this video, I'm gonna go ahead and put a custom message in here, so when you guys see this, you'll know. So maybe you saw me quickly type all that out, maybe you didn't. Once you're done typing your message, just go ahead and do Control S, or you can just go to File and Save, if that's convenient for you as well, and we can go ahead and close out that text document. Now, let's go back to our command prompt.
So inside of our command prompt, we've changed directory to the folder that we need to be in. Now we need to type in this following command, which is copy space slash B space the name of our image, which is goat.jpg. And again, keep in mind, it does have to be a JPEG for this to work properly. Then space plus space, the name of the text document, which is goat.txt space, then we wanna name our new image that's gonna have our hidden text. So we're gonna go ahead and call this goat-hidden.jpg. And then all we're gonna do is click on enter. Once we click on enter, it's gonna say one file has been copied. So we can go ahead and close out of our command prompt now. And inside of our OSINT folder or whatever folder you had created, we are gonna find the goat-hidden JPEG file. Now again, if we wanna see the hidden text inside of that file, we right click on it and do open with notepad. And I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller because we're gonna have to scroll all the way down and at the very end of this document here, of course, is there is going to be a hidden URL in this image on the IT Career Questions Discord channel. Huh, well, all right, we can go ahead and close that out now. All right, so as you saw, that was really easy to do. And there are more ways that you can do that. And I would highly suggest going and checking out TCM Security because this is covered in our Practical Ethical Hacking course and in our OSINT course as well. So make sure you check out the links in the description for those as well. That's all I got for you guys today's video. Just wanna do something fun and exciting. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, take it easy.